All right, we're gonna show a sweep for when you can't really close your guard against your partner or opponent, right? So like a, a larger person, I think everybody that rolls and does jiu-jitsu has someone in class that's broad shoulders, you know, maybe 265 pounds, a heavy weight, whatever. And it's hard to, you know, put those people in mount and close guard in the conventional ways, right? So I was at a seminar recently with Pedro Sauer where this came up and, you know, he's 65 right, it, right now, coral belt, um, and a small guy always has been, right? And like his nickname is Pedrinho, little Pedro. That's what, that's what that means in Portuguese. So he showed a concept like under those conditions, like somebody's like, hey, I can't even close my guard around this guy. Like, how do I, how do I, how do I use guard to get someone I can't, you know, even work close guard on? And really, really, really cool response. So <clears throat> let's get him close, close guard for a second, right? So I'm gonna just move from here. Let's say I can't get my feet close in the back, you know? I can put my foot on the mat super close to him. I like to go here where I'm just scissoring my legs about a foot on the floor, okay? Now, another thing, everybody always says like, hey, go tag deep. You know, sometimes, yeah, if I want uh, certain uh, strangles, I would do that. For this though, like again, it's in the context I can't cross my ankles. I'm gonna come down here. Right, and then I'm going to start posting and getting out to the side as I scissor. So I can't, I can't be on this line with with him, right? So the center of his belt projects forward, right? That's that's the center line. Okay, I can't be there, right? And then here, just this grip. I don't switch the grip upside down. All I do is I turn my hand, as I take some slack out and start punching right here, right? It's like a judo thing now. Judo people punch you in the face just like this, right? And in other ways also. But look what I'm gonna, see how he's already got his hand on the mat? That's cause I'm, I'm bumping him this way. So I'm gonna exaggerate one of these bumps here and that's gonna allow me to get up in base. And so I had this foot on the floor, I'll show another angle on this in a second. Now, he's weak to the back corner. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around and we got a knee on belly. Okay. So again, I can't close my guard and look, I can't even reach the tag. So I'm gonna go here. He's already got his hand on the floor. Now I put my foot on the floor, scoot a little bit. And again, I like to do this later phase here because I use this, this same concept all the time already, okay? And uh, a sidebar is, he came over and worked with our group a little bit. You can use the opposite lapel upside down grip, but we're using this cross lapel here, like the conventional sort of cross collar, turning our palm and punching. And then my foot's on the floor, so I can get up into a good breakover style sweep into a knee on belly position, okay? So if you were thinking from sport, you know, cool, it's uh, four points, right? You gotta, you gotta sweep from guard. If you stabilize that knee on belly position for three seconds, don't foot on the floor, two more points, right? And then slowly grind out your transition to mount, four more points, right? And that's the thing, like anytime I transition from that knee on belly to mount, I either don't stop in knee on belly or I, I grind my way from knee on belly to mount. I don't get in a hurry, right? So that's uh, the, the Pedrino sweep, or the, uh, the sour sweep, that's what we've been calling it. I've been calling it both when I teach it, and it's, um, it's a cool technique. Enjoy.